Hello YouTube, it's another All About Max video, and today I'm going to be doing of my recent pickup on Craigslist, a Macintosh Classic. I got this along with another computer right here, the Macintosh uh, Centris uh, 650. Yeah, hold on a second. Just move all this stuff out of the way. A second, sorry about that. Okay. And I got this, that, and all of this software for Max. And there's some more stuff in my closet I got, which are books and manuals and stuff. But I'm going to be doing a review of my classic today. Um, I don't really know when the classic was made. I'm thinking it was around in the 90s or maybe late 80s. I know it's made after the SE, so it's probably around like 88, 89, or 90s, something like that. But it came with the keyboard, which fully works, and the uh, Apple Desk, bu uh, desk uh, Bus Mouse 2, the second one, which looks a little bit more uh, more modern, kind of. I mean, still old, I mean, but more of a rounded shape. And the one button. <laughs> so let's turn it on. And when I saw this on Craigslist, it was all, I got all this for 100 bucks. And you might think if you're, some people might think, it's like, oh, these are old computers, I mean, but the Macintosh Classic goes for 50 plus on eBay. This, I don't know how much it goes on eBay. It's a whole unit, it works. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's like, at least like over 30. And all this software, <laughs> I know this will go for a little bit, a lot on eBay, considering there's four boot disks in here for the old 512Ks and stuff that need boot disk and there's like so much of software like Microsoft Word, Mac Paint, Mac Write, Mac Draw a lot of stuff, good stuff and then I have another box in the, my closet that has the System 7 operating disk diskets that I can use to um, load um, operating systems on older Macs like they use which is really cool so it says welcome to Macintosh and I'm really glad I got this. I think it's a great find. Mm, yep. Let's wait until it loads up. It takes a little while since it's raiding off the hard drive. I think it has a 40 megabyte hard drive on it. Which is not a lot for people that will be like, Oh, my computer has 250,000 gigs on it. I'm like, or I mean practical, like... One gig, I mean, I had like two, five hundred gigs or something like that. It's like, oh my god, it's like my computer is five hundred gigs, but it's like this was you're going back to 1990s, 80s, late 80s, so that's what you get. And it's better than the SE, I think the SE has 20 megabytes. And let's see here, so uh, on the thing here. It's just the regular desktop. Let's go to the finder. About the finder or whatever. About this Macintosh. It's running system 7.1 if you could see that. Total memory is 4 megabytes uh, right there. Um, yeah. So, it's pretty decent for an old computer. Oh, and this is a cool thing that I found on here. Like, I haven't, I, out of all the Macs I've gotten, like, these old, old ones, I haven't, like, found, like, the screensaver stuff on it because they've all been wondering, like, 6.0. Well, this one's pretty cool. Watch this. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So that's a pretty cool feature, I guess. It just does a little, like, fireworks and stuff. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. And that's basically it. I'm going to probably do some more videos later on, just kind of doing more of the software review. Hopefully get some games on here from eBay. I'm probably going to buy a couple games for the old Macs because they're pretty fun to play on these old computers. So let me shut it down. Oh, and yeah, it does this little thing where it scans it for viruses before it shuts down, so, yeah. 
You never know, we might get a virus. <laughs> not, not likely. But yeah, it's a pretty cool computer. I'm planning on keeping this one because I usually keep all my old, old ones. The, old, the other ones, like my Power Mac and stuff, I usually get rid of. But I do have my Power Mac G3. It's in my closet. And my iMac G3 Snow is in my closet too. Which I might take my iMac G3 video of my Snow one off and then re-upload it with using my iPhone because the last time I got it, I mean, it didn't, it wasn't that great of quality, so. And I gotta worry about quality now because some people were like, oh, your video quality sucks. I'm like, okay, well, I got an iPhone now that records 720p HD videos, so. Yeah. If that's bad, then I don't know what else is there to do. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe to my channel and also... If you want, you should go to Super Bugs Bunny Forum. That's my friend's channel. He just started YouTube a couple months ago. He's got some funny videos, like more comedy style videos. And if you like to get a good laugh or whatever, go watch his videos and subscribe to his channel. So thanks for watching my videos and hope to have another video out soon.